There are many well-known proofs and evidences that Muhammad, upon whom be peace, was an authentic prophet of God. And there are many also uh, that show us that Jesus also was sent by uh, God as well, upon whom be peace. And I was looking at this text uh, the other day, the al Muwatta of Imam Malik, called The First Formulation of Islamic Law. This is a very, very early, or one of the earliest collections of authentic hadith in the world. And it says on the back cover uh, that Imam Malik uh, was the great jurist of Medina in, in Arabia and founder of the Maliki School of Islamic Law. This book, this work of his, is considered by many to be, after the Quran, the most important book in Islam. And the al muwatta as it's called, is a complete record of the legal and social parameters and practices of the original Muslim community in Medina. And the, uh, the uh, hadith in here are considered to be highly uh, reliable and very, very early indeed, much earlier than the collections of Bukhari and Muslim, uh, for example. And those later collectors draw on um, these uh, hadith found in this work. And there's this one hadith um, I came across in uh, section 50, 53 entitled Greetings, which I thought was absolutely beautiful and tells us a great deal um, about the Messenger of Allah. And I just wanted to read it to you. And it says here, um, and there's a, a bit here that tells you that who, about the Isnad basically, who received the uh, the Hadith and passed it on to so-and-so. I won't, I won't recite that. You can um, see it for yourself in the book. Um, he, he says, Malik recounts that the Messenger of Allah, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, was sitting in the mosque, this would be in Medina, of course, the mosque, with some people, when three people came in. So you've got to imagine the scene. Three people came into the mosque. Two of them came towards the messenger of Allah, and one went away. When the two stopped at the assembly of the messenger of Allah, they gave the greeting. One of them saw a gap in the circle and sat in it. The other sat down behind the circle. The third turned away and left, exited the, the, the mosque, I assume. When the messenger of Allah finished, he said, shall I tell you about three people? One of them sought shelter with Allah, so Allah gave him shelter. The other was shy, so Allah was shy to him. The other turned away, so Allah turned away from him. End quote. That's the hadith. What an extraordinary story. It's difficult to know what to make of it, but clearly something very deep. There's a great spiritual lesson here that the prophet who just saw three individuals as walking in, two stayed, one left, was able to penetrate beyond the apparent and see the hidden motives, the hidden realities of these three people, and also the response of Allah himself to these people. So one of them came in and then left. So the hadith says, so Allah turned away from him. Another was shy. Um, so Allah was shy to him. And the other, of course, um, came right in and sat in the circle, in the gathering itself. And so Allah gave him shelter. It's extraordinary insight into the heart, the human heart that the prophet had and, and the heart's relationship with God and how our behavior uh, affects our relationship with God for good or not so good. And I thought that's a very beautiful snapshot of what it, I mean, imagine living, spending time in the presence of the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. It also reminds me of some stories, even in the Christian gospels we have now, where, where Jesus, upon whom be peace, had incredible insight into the hearts of men and often says that in the gospels. And I can quite believe that that is authentic and true, even though much else in the gospels may or may not be reliable. That's a different subject, of course. So it's just an extraordinary human being. He's not like the rest of us, certainly not like me, with this penetrating spiritual insight into the condition of our hearts and how they um, and how God responds to us. Um, I just wanted to share that seemingly uh, little hadith, and I thought it was just a window into the authenticity of the prophet himself. And these little details, these indicators persuaded me uh, once upon a time, and still do, that Muhammad is a prophet, an authentic prophet of God, because here is a man clearly 
endued with extraordinary powers by the grace of God to understand the unseen and the human heart, alhamdulillah. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Till next time.